Hey guys, welcome back. So the devs have gone and added a bunch of new missile parts, making missiles just a lot easier to build and use. And they've also added a new type of flare or chaff, which can, if you're in a multiplayer situation or an AI situation, can help you ward off these missiles by distracting their radars. So let's take a look at all the new blocks and how we can actually set these up. Alright, so we've got a few new blocks, mainly targeting the missiles and rockets here. And so let's start with probably the most cool piece right here is the rocket fins. This is a single block. Before what we had to do was add a booster or something and then put control fins on them. These actually have them built in and can be controlled. We got all the different sizes here up to the huge size there so you can make some proper big missiles here and they all work pretty much the same way I've got a radar here this is just a small radar and this has a missile output on it and these will go directly to the composite on any of these fins so composite from radar to the fin and pretty much you're done from that point on with logic and what you can do is just tweak the control influence of the fins and that just makes them more or less sensitive. Um, so you might need to calibrate that for your type of missile. Moving on, we've got the rocket fuel boosters. These have had a little bit of a sprite change. They're a bit smoother. And I don't know if they're rounder or not. But uh, yeah, all four sizes here. These just add more fuel time to your missiles. We've also had a remodel on some of the boosters here. This is the small rocket booster. This will fit much nicer onto a missile and won't look so big and I think this model looks a lot better for an exhaust piece and this you can also change the amount of fuel burn rate so if your missile is traveling a bit fast and it's uncontrollable as a result you can just slow that down and that's the same for any of these sizes right here another piece we've gotten is the round hard point connector before what we had was this square shape and this was fine for missiles, but didn't it really stuck out on the corners. So we've got the round one and this will be nice. And we've got the round one and this will be nice and flush with all of the pieces here. Except the big ones, obviously. So putting those all together, we've got the preset missile launcher that you can actually go and open in your game right now and just kind of see how all this works. We've got the radar up the front, a warhead body. Warheads are pretty cool now because they actually have a built-in impact sensor and so there's no real extra blocks or logic that you need to put in to make sure these detonate when they hit a target. It's really helpful because sometimes they won't actually destroy the block on impact and so your missile won't you know, do a lot of damage. But there we've got the hard point connector that's the round one and then from there we've just got a load of rocket fuel and then the fin and the rocket booster. So they've really made it nice and simple. I think it's really good because now really anyone can add a really cool missile system onto their vehicles. And uh, yeah, well, what we can do here is actually just kind of pivot this and just see how it fires. I don't have a target set up right here for now, but we can just press fire and it'll fly off. They like to go upwards, but obviously if you've got a target in your site it will converge onto it speaking of targets over here i've got my little missile setup that i've built and i've got a target over there of a big boat and this one has a big radar on it because it is kind of tracking the target or it might be an aircraft or something and it's just got two of the missiles set up in pretty much the same way hard point connector warhead body radar fins and the booster on there. Just got, I just got two of them. I've also got the preset one here just to check if I'm not you know messing anything up. Oh, let's try this. So left tracks it nicely in the middle there but just missed. That one was a good hit but no explosion again. That was weird. I've got these on a really low fuse. I don't know what's going on. This is just buzzing because we've got a detection radar right here but let's just see here so I'll pitch this a little bit up so I don't sink in the water get this one on the way okay missed let's try that again firing 
Oh, there we go. Okay. I was definitely doing something wrong with the warheads there, but that was a good hit. But there we go. Okay, we've got damage on the other side for some reason. But that was a pretty big impact for a little missile like that. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so lastly, we've got the chaffs right here. I've got a couple of flares. A cool thing about these now is that they have a pass-through. So what we can do is run it on a single button. We don't have to build a whole microcontroller just for this. And we can all just have them connected up and fire one at a time. So what I've got is my tracking radar right over there. What I'm going to try and see if if I launch a chaff up, will it track? Um, let's find out. So one away. There we go. It's actually tracking. That's brilliant. There we go. Nice. So we can press it again. It'll fire another one. I'm liking that particle effect there we go so it's tracking there and if we launch another one and just quickly fly over here I want to see if I can launch a missile up at it <laughs> there we go <laughs> that's that's really nice I like that so yeah they work pretty effectively at actually distracting a missile so I think that's a good balance thing that they've done here because as you can see missiles are very accurate and very easy to build and so a lot of people are going to have these flying around and just chaffs really nice so yeah